I want you to sell me this pen, but you cannot say anything. You have to build me a website. How would you build me the website so I would want to buy your pen? Let me know in the comments. But in the meanwhile, let's go and look at some incredible personal portfolios. What's up guys, my name is Philip and thank you for joining this incredible series where we look at incredible personal portfolios and we literally like mold into our seat because we feel so ashamed for being so bad at web dev when we call ourselves web devs, at least that's how I feel. Maybe I have a problem. Anyway, I've got some incredible websites for you today and I wanna share them with you as soon as possible. So let's just dive into the first one and let's enjoy and get inspired and be amazing and just be creative. Let's be creative. Let's go to the first one. So the first website we have is a website by Sean Halpin. Hi, I'm Sean, uh, a designer. I'm also a front-end developer and a general doodler with a keen eye for creating engaging UI, bringing products to life. I wonder if this is where the keen eye came from. And I'm just looking and I thought this eye was following my mouse cursor, but there's actually an eye here that is following my mouse cursor, uh, which is super cool. And uh, I actually love it. I've seen this once in an input field with the password. And if you like click the eye, it opened the eye and then the eye would like follow you around the page. I thought that was like a super nice touch on the website somewhere. Uh, what if we click it? Oh, it just reloads the page. Okay, very cool. Uh, well, I guess we can just kind of start scrolling and see what Sean has to offer. Uh, I assume, okay, help scout. I assume these are his projects from what it seems like. Very, very minimalistic. Um, very, very nicely kind of presented. It just gives you enough hints to make you intrigued, but it doesn't give you all the overwhelming information that you may want or you may not want on a site. A Castoji, and then he has Figma plugins. That's very cool. Jeffsum, what the fuck? Oh, uh, okay, I, I was just reading it, not that I'm saying it. <laughs> I occasionally take on freelance opportunities, have an exciting project where you need help, send over a message and let's chat. Well, I'm really interested about this one. Jeff Sam, Chief Idiot, UI UX Development 2018. Wait, what? Oh, Jeff Goldblum, photos. Uh, okay, so I guess he, uh, he tried to create something with his photos. Um, Figma about. Oh, 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 this is nice. Is this like his projects? I'm Sean, a product designer working remotely for a help scout under mobile products in sunny Dublin, Ireland. Oh, well, there you go. It's very close to me. I'm uh, in the UK. He's in Ireland, not too far away. Uh, he has a brief history uh, of the stuff he did, blah, blah, blah. Currently, currently reading and some of the books that he's currently reading. Uh, work in progress, Jeffsum, and so on and so forth. I do seem to notice that there is this little chat box. Sean bot, ask me a question. Oh, so the guy made his own bot. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm just like Sean, but a far better conversationalist. How can I help you today? Um, well, I just wanted to say hello. Well, hello there. Thanks for saying hi. I hope you've enjoyed browsing my work. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, I am interested in, uh, in in none of those. Um, but Sean, if you ever want to grab a cup of coffee, you know who to reach out to. <laughs> anyway, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, let's test it on mobile. Uh, let's go back to the main page. And of course, uh, this is uh, mobile responsive. I didn't think anything less of Sean. All looks good. And then the contact, that's his bot. That's quite nice, actually. Uh, it's a nice way to get in touch, I think. And then we had his work in progress, which is just the things that he's doing, running blogs and so on and so forth. Uh, and his playlist, I guess. Uh, chill out, jazz, hip hop and dance. It's pretty much the stuff I like. Everything works super nicely. So nice work, Sean. And let's move on to the second design. Okay, so the second one is by legworkstudio.com. Now, we only get faced with three cards, creativity, originality, and fortitude. And it says, pick it up and drop it. Um, so I'm gonna go for creativity. Wow, nice. We saw creativity as our guiding light. Okay. And then, so I get this description, but what happens next? Do I just, okay, I can drag the cards and new things happen. 
We didn't recycle ideas. We tried to give each project a unique perspective and approach. Let's try fortitude. We always pushed concepts, even if it meant down to the wire deliveries. I'm actually really interested how this is going to look on mobile because, um, you know, animations like that, drag and dropping, especially when it comes to like on the mobile phone, like, will it actually work? Will it be the same kind of thing? Um, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see that. Oh, we have a new card. It's called People. Legwork. We were a legwork studio and these were the ideas that we strived to uphold. And then we have a little video. I'm not going to play it. And then the last Starfi Starfighters, uh, of course, I think we have all the people that work for this company. And then people that have left the company, um, the last and the lost. Um, and I guess that's about it from the website. But uh, if it's to do with introduction, I don't know how we can contact these guys. They have absolutely nothing else here. Um, so I don't know what the purpose of this is rather than just a showcase. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it there. But before we do that, uh, I'm just going to refresh this page and see how it works on mobile. And okay, and it works in the same way. We pick it up and drop it and we get the very nice animation. Fantastic, nice work. And I think uh, we are ready to go to the next one. Huh? Recommended by showcase meet creative developers. That is exactly what I want to do. How did they know that? I heard you want to meet some people, creative developers as such. Well, you're in the right place. Showcase is a social media platform that's totally oriented around developers. It's essentially like a LinkedIn, but better for developers. With Showcase, you get many developer-like features that you can add to your profile, like your tech stack, repositories you want to show off, and community groups that you want to be part of. Once you have filled everything out, Showcase generates a front page for you, and it's literally like a personal portfolio and takes two minutes to create. On top of that, you have the functionality to view your resume on your page, which in the same way accumulates all the important information, puts it on a very presentable resume, and you can have it available wherever you go, on your profile, or you can download it and send it to anyone. Showcase is also very big on communities. The developers there are super engaging. You can connect with people that have the same interests. For example, the people who love the same programming language as you. And on top of that, there is a whole section called shows where other developers in the community share their knowledge in an easy to read article or series. You can filter these by a blog, a Git repository that you can play around with, videos, podcasts, or even events that you can attend. Showcase also offers opportunities to find new jobs with their Find New Job section, where you can filter the job based on your preferences like salary, location, tech stack, and so on. And guess what? I'm on there being active and helping out the community as well. So come and connect with me on Showcase and be my friend. I promise I will follow everyone back. So just click the link in the description, make an account with Showcase, and I'll see you there and send me a message. I'll happily reply. Let's jump on to the next amazing personal portfolio. This website is called pleaselevon.com. I'm not sure of the offer, I may we might find out, but it looks very interesting and I'm very curious what's going to happen. So I'm just going to, I assume I have to scroll. So I'm just going to scroll once upon a time. Oh, is this a narration? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> once upon a time. Hello there. Who's this? Heard you're looking for someone with a very particular set of skills. Tell me more. Someone who offers playful and buzzworthy browser-based media. Can we talk? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go somewhere together. <laughs> Oh my god, forgive me for that. Uh, let's go somewhere together, coffee your off your office video chat drink or copy email address. This one is a bit creepy. Uh, I mean, why would you want to come to my office with me? Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, I, to do some work. To, to do some work, guys. Come on. You didn't think of anything else, I hope. So uh, yeah, well, nice work, whoever this offer of this is. PLO. Patrick Lowe. Oh, there we go. So we found the offer. And we found another website. 
<laughs> what? I didn't even know. I didn't even know this, uh, this is here. Another web thing by Patrick L.O. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, Easter egg on the website where we just found another website by him, which features a little comic book. And I really like this. And uh, as you can see, actually, this is very cool because the background moves and it's based on perspective. But actually, this is a type of, I think, parallax scroll that he's using here. Uh, to make it feel like that, which I think is quite cool. Unless it might be a little bit more complicated because it actually has dimension to it. So it might not be parallax scroll, but there you go. Well, another extra website for you guys as a bonus today, which I didn't even know about. Now going back from this plotter uh, Easter egg website that we just found, let's just look at the other website at the responsiveness. And then maybe we can even look at this one at the responsiveness and see uh, if it's any good. Once upon a time, Yes, it's there, it's the same, but it's even nicer because it's not in a bubble and essentially it works super nicely. And then I can directly go to this one and let's look at this one in mobile. Does it actually work? And uh, I, 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 I can only assume it will as well work. Um, so let's just wait for it to load. Yep, that's taking its time. There we go. Okay, and uh, if I scroll, absolutely fantastic. Wow, wow. Really, really good work, really good work. The last website, if I just literally refresh it, it's not that I finished it, it says, thank you for visiting, as soon as you see the website. And I was super confused about this until I saw this little piece of text here saying, Psst, hey, try resizing your browser. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to touch it until the video because I want to see what actually happens and I want to be fully immersed in this whole experience along with you guys, genuinely. So, first of all, I'm just going to click some things. And, uh, okay. Okay, uh, that is um, <laughs> some music. Then we have folders. Who knows where thoughts come from? They just appear. So we're getting little teasers. This is a, oh, so this is the terminal that pops up. This is the, this is an image, and I'm assuming this is made by uh, a girl, uh, which is awesome to see female developers. I really highly support that. Um, then we have the music. It can pop and go. And then nothing else happens. But we have, psst, hey, try resizing your browser. And uh, I'm going to do that. So let's see what happens if I do. Uh, I'm going to make it smaller, make it smaller, make it smaller. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's insane. What is happening? What is happening? And we're going into like space. Why is it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then the TV is rolling up at us. How? 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 I, I can't believe that. What? What? By just, by just, by just what? By just me, different media queries? You just change the whole storyline of a website? How? What? Just me, what? I, I, I genuinely have never seen anything like this. I mean, welcome, wonderful weirds. Wel welcome, wonder. Welcome, wonderful weirdos of the web. Is uh, what she, what she was saying on the thing that I couldn't read. And then we zoom in even further. Oh my god. Oh oh my god. Are you freaking serious, man? Like, is anything like interactive or is it just like a storyline? Believe. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. It's, this is ridiculous. Come on. Can I go even closer? What if I like zoom in? Okay. I, oh, I can zoom in. Okay. So I guess. I guess that's like the, the the most zoom in, and then let's just zoom out again. Oh my god, come on, bro. That's actually ridiculous. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And that's me zooming out my browser. Oh wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I, okay, so this website doesn't convey any information. It does. It's not like, Oh yeah, here's my personal portfolio and this is my resume and this is what I did and look at my work and look how good I am. I mean, in a way it is like, look how fucking amazing I am because I you're resizing the browser and I'm changing the whole storyline of the browser and the things that are happening, which I think is very, very difficult. You know, usually people do it on scroll, but with the browser, 
What? Insane. And then at the top here, I can see I can see an about section. And I guess this is Lynn. Definitely something that should be inspiring, and it uh, definitely inspired me. So, um, absolutely incredible work, Lynn. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys got inspired. I hope you have a lot of ideas from this. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you uh, like this video as well, because it really helps me out. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to more videos where I'll be throwing in tutorials and other guides and other cool videos about web dev and about being an engineer and about engineering life in general. So I'll see you there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.